You know their names and you recognize their faces. This is Then and Now. Hi, I'm Jacqueline and I'm the host of Then and Now, the place where you, the viewers, get to know the Club Genentech staff a little more. So let's find out who's featured in today's episode. Let's get to know Andrew. Who was he back then? What's going on guys? It's Andrew from the front desk and today we're doing a then and now video. I love this opportunity for you guys to get to know me and hopefully I get to know you guys a lot better as well. So to start off, where am I from? Where was I born? I was born and raised right here in San Francisco. I was born at the Kaiser in the Richmond district off of Geary, and I am a Mission native. I've been living in the Mission my entire life. I went to middle school at St. Anthony's just off of Cesar Chavez, which is the old Army Street, and then I went to high school at Sacred Heart Cathedral Preparatory School, home of the Fighting Irish. In high school, I played tennis my entire four years, and we were actually one of the best tennis teams to grace. Sacred Heart Cathedral. We were one of the only teams to make CCS playoffs, which is which is one of the hardest divisions of high school sports in California, at least. We were up against this one school, I think it was called Menlo Atherton, who literally just had, they had players going to college. Thank goodness we didn't have to play them in playoffs. A bit of a funny story, in high school, our senior year we made the playoffs, and then it was going to interfere with a bunch of our senior activities, so we kind of just we kind of just gave up we didn't have the drive to uh, pull through with a tough matchup with Aragon High School so we so we lost we lost in the playoffs but we got to do a lot of our senior activities which was I think more important for us during the times who is he now so I've been working at Club Genentech since 2019, finishing up a bachelor's degree in political science with San Francisco State University. And now with the pandemic hitting and everything, I am lucky enough to make and edit YouTube videos for the Virtual Fitness Network. Yeah, so time spent during the pandemic is a very weird question just because like there's just so many things. Like in the beginning of the pandemic, my girlfriend wanted to learn how to play tennis. So I started teaching her how to play tennis and then I slowly started teaching my co-workers how to play tennis it's just like one of those skills that you can take with you uh, lifelong great for networking as well so that was the beginning of quarantine lots of cooking lots of reading lots of lots of video games just like everything like just all of the hobbies I got to practice during this quarantine and what do I miss most about the gym I miss the environment because I am lucky enough to have a home gym setup where I have like a barbell and squat racks and benches and everything but what I miss the most is the environment. Seeing all of you lovely people in sort of a effort to all better ourselves and work out. It's just the environment, you know? I don't miss waiting for squat racks and benches, but slowly I was like, maybe I took that for granted. No, I don't. I, I don't miss waiting for weights, but I do miss all of the lovely people that we saw and worked out with at the gym. So at the Virtual Fitness Network, I am in charge of the memes show. I love memes. I love internet memes. And and I love sharing them with you guys. So if you guys have any for me, um, I would be glad to accept them and put them on the show. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this gives you a better understanding of who I am, the face behind memes. And again, I would love to get to know all of you guys as well. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Jack for having me on this show. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed getting to know this week's staff member. Feel free to leave a comment below letting me know who on staff you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with the new Club Genentech staff member featured for all of us to get to know a little bit better then and now.